All right, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy start to the week, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, if you're watching this a little later in the day, we are glad you're joining us. If you're live this morning, you are about to win the day. Good, mo good Monday morning, everyone. Great to see you this morning. We're going to attack the day with scripture. We're going to attack the day with prayer today. Um, hope you had a great weekend. Hope you're able to get to church and worship and get some good teaching. Uh, everyone that's joining us this morning, I'm going to just hang in here for a second. Um, day one of the week, hopefully kids are at school already or you're getting them right there right now. Um, looking forward to a great day. All right, today is officially Keeping in Perspective Monday. Keep, good morning, Ben. That's what I'm talking about. Great to see you this morning. It is Keep It in Perspective Monday. Keep it in Perspective Monday. Joy is often a matter of simply keeping the right perspective. Joy is often, good morning, Carson, great to see you this morning. Joy is often a matter of just keeping the right perspective. Our human hearts always desire more. We, we want greater achievement, greater progress, greater growth, greater resources. We, we aspire to be in better shape, have a better marriage, have better relationships, have more meaningful work, be better in school, have better character, uh, increase our standard of living. Be a, be a better team. We want to have better kids. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. God, God created us with a desire to rise to new standards of growth and excellent. That's all good. That, there's something in us that desires more. Good morning, Tony. There's something in us that aspires to greater things. There's, there's something in us that wants to be better. I think God put that there. That's all good. Unless our desire for what could be breeds discontentment. Unless our desire for more or our desire for what could be in our life begins to breed discontentment. Or we compare ourselves and our situations to others who have more and we become discouraged and unhappy. Uh, discontentment is often the result of focusing on what we don't have instead of focusing on what we do have. Maybe you're there this morning. Maybe you're, maybe you're sad. Maybe you're discontent. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you're depressed. My question is, what is your focus and what is your perspective this morning? Because this is Keeping in Perspective Monday. Joy is found in recognizing the good things we have right now without any change or improvement. You can have joy right now as you keep your life in perspective, as you focus on the, the things that you have now, not what you don't have. And some of us are discouraged because we're not where we want to be. Our kids are not where we want them to be. Our life is not where we want it to be. Our character is not where we want it to be. And so we're discouraged or we're discontent. Today is Keep It In Perspective Monday. What do you have today? What can you celebrate today? All right? 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 to 10. Listen to what Paul says. He warns against that danger. He says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. We brought nothing into the world physically, and we can carry nothing out of it when we die. And having food and clothing with these, we shall be content. But those who desire to be rich uh, fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and harmful lusts which drown men in destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many pangs. Paul says a couple of things. Lust for money is, is a root of evil in our lives. He says if we have food and clothing, with that we're content. What do you have today? Do you have food? Do you have clothing? You can be content in that even if you're not quite where you want to be or feel like you need to be financially. It's, it's all a matter of keeping it in perspective today. Even if you're not where you'd like to be, you can celebrate where you are today. And that's what we're going to focus on today. Let me give you a couple other scriptures. Hebrews. Chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conduct be without covetousness or lust or desiring other things. Be content with what you have. For God said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Be content with such things as you have today. You can walk in contentment. 
You can walk in joy. You can walk in satisfaction. You can walk in blessing today as you keep it in perspective. It's okay to desire greater things. It's okay to want to be at a higher place. That's all fine. God put that in you. But don't let that breed discontent. Don't compare yourself to others who have more today. Instead, focus on what you have and be thankful today. Psalm, Psalm 7, verse 17 says this, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, not according to what I have or don't have. I will praise the Lord according to who he is, according to his righteousness, according to his character. I will praise the Lord because he saved me. I will praise the Lord because my sin is forgiven. I will praise the Lord because I have right standing with God through Jesus. I will praise the Lord this morning because I have peace in my heart because I'm right in a right relationship with God. Amen. I can, I can <clears throat> celebrate and praise the Lord according to his righteousness and what he's done for me. I will sing his praise. I will sing praise to the name of the Most High God. I will sing praise to his name, to his character, for who he is, because that me, brings me greater joy and contentment than the physical things that I have, or even the emotional or relational things that I have in life. It's the Lord that ultimately brings me great joy. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, not what I have. So friends, this morning, we are, we are going to have the right perspective. We are going to make some declarations this morning in prayer. Would you pray with me today? Lift your hands to the Lord. Lord, we, I, I declare this morning, Lord, that I'm, I'm not where I want to be spiritually, but I'm not where I used to be. Thank you, Lord. If you can say that this morning, Lord, I'm not where I, where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I give you praise for the work you've done in my life. I give you praise for the progress I've made spiritually. I have grown as I look back in my life. I celebrate with contentment this morning and with joy this morning the growth you brought in my life, even though I know there's more. Thank you, Lord. My children aren't where I'd like them to be, but they're healthy or they know the Lord or, or they're growing. God, I thank you that even though my kids have attitudes, even though my kids express immaturity and reflect immaturity, I thank you, Lord, for where they are. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in their life. And I know, God, that you're going to do more. Therefore, Lord, I'm content this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, we, we may have less money than we'd like, but we have food and clothing and we have a home. And we have the basic needs. God, we are grateful today for what you've given to us physically, even though, Lord, there could be more. We, we focus, God, on what you've given to us, the blessings of having a meal this morning, the blessings of having a cup of coffee, the blessings, oh, Lord, of having a roof over our head. We got to sleep in a bed. We didn't have to sleep outside. We are grateful this morning for your goodness. Lord, this morning, we declare that we have some physical challenges but our soul is at peace because of Christ. Lord, we're not, our, we're not physically perfect. We have some aches and pains today, God. We have some limitations today. But, we, but our soul is content because we're, we're uh, forgiven in Christ. We're reconciled through the cross of Jesus. We have salvation and eternal life. God, our soul is at rest today, and therefore we give you praise. Thank you this morning, Lord. Lord, our country is not what it used to be, but it still offers us wonderful privileges America is still a great place to live. We're grateful this morning, Lord, that even though it's not where it used to be, or maybe not where we want it to be, God, it's far beyond most other countries, and we celebrate this morning the goodness of our God in our lives. Uh, thank you. To, hey, friends, let me ask you a question. What do you need to keep in perspective today? What do you need to celebrate today? As you begin the week, begin it with celebration. Begin with contentment. Begin with joy. Say, thank you, Lord. I'm not where I want to be, but, but Lord, I'm, I'm not where I used to be either. My, my kids have struggles, Lord, but thank you for this in their lives. Lord, we thank you this morning. You are only and always good. We thank you, Lord, that we can have a right perspective. Lord, that, that if we have food and clothing with these things, we are content. Lord, keep us from the love of money. Keep us from that root of evil that always longs for more and is never content with what we have. Oh God, we thank you this morning for who you are in our lives, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, come on, everybody said, you know what day this is. That's right, angel. It's a day to be grateful. Keep it in perspective. Don't focus on what you don't have, but focus on what God has given you. God is good. It's gonna be a great day. You're gonna win the day with gratitude. You're going to win the day with joy. You're going to win the day with celebration because God's in your life. He'll never leave you or forsake you. It's a great Monday. Have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.